that um, I thought why do I want to chat or to, to talk about sustainability. Uh, as I said, I belong to a class that um, has the most extravagant desires, that pays a lot for certain ingredients, that have to, to come far away uh, to our people. Um, the first time that I heard about sustainability was during the first year of my engineering degree, because I, I'm also an engineer, and we studied the Brunton report uh, titled Our Common Future. And five years ago, my life uh, took a big turn. I went from engineering to cooking. I went to London to do a culinary, um, culinary course. And uh, I stayed there for a year. Then I came back, I opened my own restaurant. Last month, I opened another restaurant, so another big turn. And I also have a, a baby. And so another big turn in my life. And uh, during the last month, it, I thought a lot about uh, my future generation. What, what this world is going to be, what, do I, what will I live in, and what is going to be the future. Here we have one of our sources at the restaurant, and probably it's similar to the ones that we are going to have at lunch. And I want you to think about three things. First one is who grew these vegetables that we are going to eat. Another one is how this meat was raised. And finally, where this food, all this food came from. Um, I'm talking about sustainable cuisine. Usually, sustainable is linked to organic products produced by local farmers and sell or sold at, uh, next to the road or in small markets. And uh, in the end, products that are more expensive than the ones that we can buy in supermarkets. Um, but sustainable cuisine is much more than this. When you go to a supermarket, you see that the tomatoes are all the same color and the same size. But the production is not like that. The production is like, is like this one. You have green ones, yellow ones, ones that are not too good to eat, and ones that are in the same. Um, and then we have to understand that uh, this is a production and this is a natural production. Uh, we have to understand how these vegetables are grown, which techniques are used to produce that tomato, and then Another thing that is very important is the season of the year and the weather. The weather has, has, an, has an important role in the development of those initial tomatoes. So when you go to the supermarket, you see that now you have nice tomatoes with a nice price, with a, a lot of flavor. If you go in December or January, they are not in season, so they are not good to eat. And so we are eating a product that is not and good for me. Uh, definition of sustainable cuisine. It's a way of growing, seeking, processing, preparing, and eating food stuff that doesn't deplete the natural system that creates that product. And I want to emphasize this idea of, uh, of the natural system that creates that product. We have to take care of this natural system, and, this will, and taking care of this natural system and understanding this natural system is a way of a way of getting to the sustainable cuisine that we want to have. And as I said, do I cook sustainably? Um, the, most, the most I can talk about the design of the cuisine, the ovens that I use, the energy and a lot of stuff. But here I just want to talk about products because the other one makes it difficult to be sustainable. So about the product itself, the product itself. Um, for me, to, to, um, to have a restaurant is to, to promote a, a different experience for my clients. I want to give them the best product I can, uh, and, uh, but I have to, to get the perfect product to, to, in the end, I have to, to serve the, the best dish I can. So, for me, it's very important to know exactly where the product came from, how it is produced. And, uh, and to know the people that are behind that product. Here I have some friends that work, they are working with us for a few years. They are producing some wonderful wines. 
and we know exactly what kind of wine they are producing and and if what what I can do with this wine then what can I sell with this wine so they have they have this knowledge they trust it to me so I can trust to my customers Joanna that's doing a wonderful team like her grandmother did and José Francisco that, that, that is um, producing pots in Alentejo so like the world the old way feeding them with cereals and not with flowers so the first idea that I want you to, to have is this one, reconnect with the source of your food. It's good for you to know who produces your product, how it is produced, and when it is best to, for you to have it. And another idea to finish is the artisans are the people who should be driving our diet and not on the, our dinner table. One animal that I want to present after the child, the child of the uh, It's here, my friend. I invite her to come, but she has another appointment. And so she sent me this picture. And um, I met this, this cow, or this breed of cattle, um, when I went on my honeymoon uh, with my wife. Instead of going, instead of going to Caribe or to Brazil or to another place, we went to the northeast, to the northeast of Portugal, between Parque Natural de Vigere, the, the, the Barros de Vigere, and uh, we went there to, to meet their her family. Um, this 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 breed of cattle was. In the last century, was in danger of extinction uh, due to need of mass meat production. Um, we have to. They tried. Uh, we, we changed this one that doesn't produce produce a lot by the others that get the milk. Uh, but there were a lot of problems with this this cow here because you need to feed them a lot with flowers, flowers made from another animal, from bone, from fruit. And so in the in the in the beginning of the nineties there was some disease like the mad cow flu that you have seen. And again in on the and the nineties um, we turn again to the quality of the meat of this this cow. And the problem we the, the mad cow were was to know where the, the problems were. So this one, we know exactly where they were from. We have this, the, the identity, where the regional identity, where these cows were. And so it was easy to, to see if there is a problem with that cow. During that holiday with my wife and meeting, <laughs> meeting that family, we have to eat a lot. So we go to one house, we have to to another one, you have to eat and drink, and eat and then again. So I tried a lot of these meats, and the, the quality is wonderful. Uh, the sweetness, the flavor, the tenderness. So the first thing I did when I came back to my wife was to, to have this meat to, to give to my clients. Um, talking about sustainability, we have to think about the environment and territory. This breed of cattle, the Barrosão, um, it's, it's produced in extensive ways, so it, keeps, it helps to keep the biodiversity, to keep the quality of the soil, to keep the quality of the water, and to fight against the desertification. In terms of economy, it's one of the main support of the, the, the local economy of that region that I've changed. Um, uh, the, one of the main incomes of the region came from the, this, this Barrosão or this area. And there is also the symbol of this region, the social symbol of this region. Uh, it's, also, it's the symbol of uh, fighting against the situation, fighting against the bad weather, fighting against the desertification. And so here we have a fight with no, with no blood, uh, a fight between two bulls from some villages, so they are deprived of their, their food. In 
again. I have to say that um, as a father, I want my son to to know this, to know this cattle, to know about the Calabarzan, to taste this meat, to 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 meet the people that is producing this meat, um, to to know the local tradition. As a chef, I want to to have this wonderful product to to work and to give to my customers. As others like the, the wine from my um, Frederico and Elder, the cheese from um, Suana and the, the pork from the um, Red Francisco and other products that I'm always um, trying to find. E, e como português, para terminar, um, quero continuar a ter orgulho nestes, neste produtor, neste produto um, e, e a acreditar porque temos um valor inestimável na nossa na gastronomia portuguesa. Muito obrigado.